Hey everybody, good energy to you guys. <clears throat> so I just uh, uploaded a video um, sharing details of a, a property that I'm interested in. And um, on that property is a house that is not quite 1,100 square feet. And it's on stilts. Um, now initially I was going to um, not include a house on the property um, per se, you know, I always thought it'd be a good idea to have a trailer or a building or even a couple of trailers just because it's good to have some of the amenities that this these houses provide until we can develop our own. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I had this feeling to look at stuff in Georgia and that particular location popped up and it's a small house. It's also an orange colored house, which I love the color orange. And um, based on what I saw, I saw a lot of um, potential for productivity and versatility. And I think especially with 1.8 acres, you know, there's a lot of room for surrounding people to camp out, to build shelters, to, you know, start working on dwellings and growing hemp and other foods. There's a river nearby. Um, so in itself, it's a very small house, very basic house, very simple, which is everything that I like about everything. And um, I don't think it's too much to ask for. You know, this is a movement that's gonna change the whole world. So I think it's good to think, you know, a little bit larger than smaller right now. So, you know, me trying to just find something that has nothing really there, it's just gonna take that much more time to get things going. So if we can already have a small little house that's ready to go and can provide good food and cooking and washing and cleaning and just give us a place to like collect ourselves and recuperate while we're working on this stuff is good. And it's only $169,000, so it really isn't that expensive, especially being right next to a river and, um, you know, having 1.8 acres. And hemp is legal in Georgia, as I think I said, so, um, you know, these are some really good things. And, you know, I'm curious to see what you guys think about it. Um, I'm, to be honest, I'm fine with just living on the land. I don't really need a house, but again, for the, you know, for the betterment of everybody and to help perpetuate this movement in a quicker way, also to help you know others who aren't as you know comfortable you know roughing it i thought it'd be a good idea to at least present the idea and you know if uh, if it pans out then awesome if it doesn't that's fine too um you know and another vehicle that i've been looking at that i think is a good modest um <clears throat> opportunity that could be very good for us is uh you know a 2004 ish i mean there's a 2004 nissan xterra that i found that i think is a really good buy you know it doesn't have very many miles um based on what i've researched on those particular models of the nissan xterra they seem to be pretty good um they, they fare up really well against the tacomas and other various uh you know vehicles that are in the same category so i've always had a thing for those xterras i don't know why but I like it's like they, they have an adventuristic utilitarian vibe to them that i dig <clears throat> and you know we're gonna be doing things on the land and i like to off you know i like to get out to nature too so it's good to have off-road capabilities can also tow a decent amount. So in a lot of ways, it feels like a good um, used car to buy. And also the price of those Nissan Xterras aren't as much because they discontinued them. So they're, they're harder to find, but they're not as popular. And you know, they've been around for a while. So they're actually a real good buy for your money based on the research that I've seen. So anyway, I just want to share that with you guys and hope you all have a good day. All right, bye.